Well, here we go on this rather cloudy Thursday morning. But at least we didn't get snow last night, although it is below freezing out there. This time of year here in Winnipeg, we could get snow. We could actually be fighting a big blizzard right now, this time in March. Anyway, what's with this stuff? And what's with the easy line? Now I got these things out here because if I don't lay them out on the table by the end of the day I'll think oh man I was going to talk about the easy line and the baking soda. However I want to try and what do I got on my finger here? Anyway uh, I'm going to try and mount these on the top here. And I just got this thing sort of spinning around to show you how I protected the uh, paint from the alligator clip with a piece of foam rubber. Yeah. Now, in yesterday's video, one of the viewers made the comment that because this turntable thing that we've been using for the last two years does not require a whole lot of power, it could be that that is why this... Uh, this uh, power supply is shutting off. Um, yeah, it, it, there could be some sort of circuitry in this thing that if it senses that it's not putting out very much, it just shuts down. I know that sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. There are there are two outlets on the on the end of it here for plugging in the USB. There's what I believe is one amp. I presume that means one amp. And then I believe this means 2.1 amps. I've tried both of them. And uh, no matter what combination of stuff I try, it, <laughs> it, uh, it will periodically shut off on me. Anyway, I, I just thought I'd mention that I also thought that possibly there was a circuitry in this thing that, that uh, would automatically shut down if the power being drawn was not very much. Now, on the other hand, when I bought my dash cam for the car, Oh, there, you notice it just shut off. Uh, anyway, when I bought the dash cam for the car, I used this to test it to see how long it would run on, on the memory card. And, and it ran, the I think it ran for well over two hours, uh, almost three, uh, depending on how the camera set. And uh, so, it, it, it could, unless this thing provides some sort of weird feedback, <laughs> anyway, let's get on with our spraying today. No, we were going to use the clear coat. Now, we have done this before. We used the clear as the glue, and it, it actually worked. And then, to get rid of the, the shine that the clear left, we covered everything up with the flat clear. So, the plan is, I'm going to put a little bit of clear right here. Um, I will put the macro lens on, and we'll zoom in so that you can see what's going on. And then the plan is that I will do the time-lapse thing afterwards so that we can watch the, the uh, clear sort of shrink wrapping itself all around the little ladder. Now, the longer one goes right here. It, I, I'm not going to put it on now because I'll just have to take it off. I'll, I'll put the macro lens on and, and readjust everything here. Now, there was a line uh, which I have sanded off, sort of a, I guess it was a flashing thing from the molding. And uh, when I rounded this over, now we can't see it, but you can kind of see where it was there. That would have given me a, a guideline, but I'm just going to have to sort of eyeball it so that it goes between this window and, and this window on the other side. Um, okay, so get my clear here. Give a little bit of a shake. Okay, now, I'm, I'm not going to drop the ladder down on, on top of the back here of this part. I've got a fluffy on, on, the, on the brush there. I don't want to get that. Okay, I got it off. Okay, because if I, if I drop it down now, when I come down with my little droplet, it's going to attach to the brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue down right there. I mean... Uh, clear on right now and uh, 
so that when I drop the ladder into it, it's going to stick there. Okay, now let's get my ladder before this evaporates. Okay, fortunately I can cut out the dead spots. I was having trouble picking it up. Okay, right in the middle there. Like that. Does that look uh, straight to you? Let me check the monitor. I think it could possibly be moved over just a little bit, couldn't it? All right. Maybe a little bit more. One nice thing, this is not like CA glue that, you know, all of a sudden it'll set up and then you can't adjust nothing. Okay, did I get it moved over? Okay. Okay, it looks good on the monitor. Now, the idea is, I'm going to just sort of cover that. And hope it doesn't move on me. No, I, I know that it looks like it is. It is really, uh, you know, oversaturated. There, it's really flooded on, right? But what I'm going to do now is we'll do the time lapse, and you should see the uh, the clear shrink wrapping itself around the rungs. I'm going to use the heat gun just to sort of speed things up a bit. Okay, time lapse starts now. Well, I'm guessing about 10 minutes has passed here. And uh, I think it's probably shrunk about as much as it's going to shrink. Um, where's something here that I can just poke at it? We are going to be covering this up afterwards with uh, with the, with the flat clear. Okay, it doesn't seem to be leaving a mark there. Now it, it probably is. You can probably see it, but I can't see it. Uh, anyway, that, that for all intents and purposes, you might say, is dry. Okay, I'm going to just uh, recompose here everything, and we'll put the little short ladder on the, on the back section. We'll just do it exactly the same way. Okay, let's try not to bump anything out of alignment here. I got my little brush all cleaned up. Uh... Get myself lined up properly. Put on my extra strong eyes. Now, we're going to do much the same thing. Oh, I've, I've uh, turned everything around here 90 degrees because I want to be able to line the little ladder up with the larger one. And it was crossways to me before. Okay, do everything the same way as before. Let's put a, a layer of glue on there. Okay, I think that's alright. Now, oops. Once again, I'm having trouble picking it up. Okay. Now, the bottom right here of the ladder, th this is actually the bottom, uh, it has to be flush with the edge here. I get us to move just a little bit to your right. Okay, let me just check the monitor and see how that looks. It looks it looks straight from from my perspective here. 
Yeah, it looks not too bad on the monitor as well. Okay, I do believe everything's recording. Now once again we're going to carefully saturate it here. I think I got it covered pretty good. I don't think it's going to... Uh, did it move a little bit on me? I don't know if I dare try to move it or not. Now let's just leave well enough alone. Okay. Now, once again, where's my heat gun? And <clears throat> the time lapse will start now. Well, checking the monitor right now, it, it appears like it's shrunk probably, I would say, 90% as much as it could. Um, yeah, I know I, I didn't do it as long as I, I did it before. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to fall off, that's for sure. Okay. Well, about five hours has passed since I started this coffee this morning. And you know, <laughs> I just realized I, I didn't clean out my little brush from the, the uh, clear. Ah, uh, well, Windex will take care of that, I hope. Now, we're going to have to leave the the uh, curing agent and the baking soda until tomorrow. We just, I just kind of ran out of time here. I got just too involved using the two camera system and stuff like that. And there was something else I had to deal with today. But that's, you don't need to worry about that. Oh, and ab about the, uh, curing, the curing agent and baking soda, by the way, this is empty. It, it uh, has to do with a, a comment that I got from one of the viewers, and we'll, we'll deal with it tomorrow. But I will talk about the easy line. I don't know why it was. This morning I was thinking about the fact that easy line, they say, will stretch seven times from its original length. In other words, if you had a, had a, uh, a length of easy line that was about an inch long, you could stretch it out to seven inches before it would, would break. Now, I was wondering, and, and I don't know why I think about these sort of things, but I do. Uh, uh, flying model airplanes is, was one of my passions, and I'm still interested in it. Now, there's one of the uh, aspects of flying model airplanes, as most of you know, in fact, all of you know, is rubber-powered. And I was wondering, why could a person not use this easy line stuff to make the rubber band to to power the plane instead of an elastic band. Now maybe there are elastic bands that will stretch seven or more times, uh, you know. But I was thinking this stuff would be fantastic because of its its ability to store energy. And uh, yeah, the uh, well, well, you're seeing it on on the the type of airplane you're you're seeing it now uh, on the screen. What I'm talking about. It's just a thought. Uh, I don't know if the people that produce the easy line could also produce uh, super rubber bands. Why not? Uh, just a thought. Anyway, we've got to wind this up here today. Um, and uh, did, I, did I mention that uh, this, this baking soda and that comment reminded me of the uh, episode that I watched in Nigel's from Nigel yesterday. Uh, yeah, N and Nigel's uh, episode was very, you might say, profound yesterday. So uh, you might want to watch it. I imagine probably most, of, a lot of you have, uh, because uh, I know in, in last night some people were commenting already. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about that uh, tomorrow because I want to be able to you know, do this justice. I wonder. I don't want to say anything that uh, later on I think, well, that didn't make any sense, or I didn't really mean that, or 
Um, somebody might be offended. So we'll deal with that tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we at least got our little ladders on here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.